This video will explain what we talked about in class if you happen to have been absent when we covered mutations. Uh, we're looking at four different types of mutations, uh, at least that's what we covered in class. We're looking at two types of point mutations and two types of frame shift mutations. Um, so let's get going. Um, to start with, we are looking at a normal strand of DNA and a mutated strand of DNA. Uh, you will be expected to be able to convert DNA into RNA and then use the RNA to translate it into a protein using one of these codon wheels that we've used previously. So what you'll need to do is first create the two proteins from the normal and mutated strands, and then you can compare those um, amino acids. And we can see in this first sample that we did, all of the amino acids are exactly the same, all right, all the way down. But this is still a mutated strand of DNA. And the reason why is in the DNA strand, what should be GGT has changed into GGA. So this A, it should be T because T was normal. This is a mutated DNA strand. And what we got as a result was, well, really no change at all, at least not in the protein. The protein is exactly what it should be anyways. This is because these uh, RNA strands created from the DNA, CCU and CCA, both CCU and CCA create the exact same protein. So, or I'm sorry, same amino acid. So that will result in no change in the, the protein itself. This is called a uh, silent point mutation. And a silent point mutation is a mutation where the protein has no change. The second one that we looked at, a little bit more complex. Again, we have our normal DNA, we have our mutated DNA, and when we created the protein, we can see that this is what the protein should be, and this is what the protein became. And we can see that they are the same all the way up until this point. And from this uh, point, all of the amino acids are different from what they should be. So let's talk about how this happened. We can see, looking at the normal strand of DNA, right here there should be uh, CTT, and we have CTT, and then the next one should be TTC, but we only have TCT, only one T. We can see, moving beyond, that there is some similarity. CTCAG, CTCAG. So this section and this section they're exactly the same. Moving beyond, they're exactly the same as well. What ended up happening in this scenario, notice we have one, two, three, four T's consecutive, but here we only have one, two, three T's. We lost one of these two T's in this DNA. It went bye-bye. This is called a deletion, which is a type of frame shift mutation. When we lose a nucleotide, what ends up happening, like if we lose this T, the C shifts back into the position that was occupied by T, and T shifts back into the position that was occupied by C. The result would be T, C, T, which is exactly what we have right here. The A would shift back, the C would shift back, all of these would shift back, and that does change all of these sequences from what they should be, resulting in a complete change in the protein after the point of the mutation. The third one we talked about. Again, we can see that uh, some of the protein is the same up front, but then everything changes. How did this one happen? Um, again, uh, it's the same up until this point, so let's start looking at what's going on at this point. I can see in this position I should have G and an A and a T, but I do not have a G and an A and a T. I can see, though, that there is a G, A, T here. Okay, let's check the next one. G, A, A, G, A, 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 T, A, A, T. So it's looked like there's something going on. There's some similarities, it's just the, the positions kind of got shuffled. 
So I can see here I have AAC, here I have AAC, um, then I have my G, so AAC and G, AAC and G. Looks like there's two C's there when up here there should only be one. This C got added in. This C does not exist up here. This one does, but not this one. This is an insertion, which is another type of frame shift mutation. As we can see, what happens to the protein made? The protein is completely different from what it should be. And the last mutation, as we can see, once you create the protein, everything is the same except for what should be ASP. This is normal, but this is what we get. Let's look at what happened. We know that there's only going to be a change in the thing that created this amino acid. So let's look at them. CTT, CTA. This is what we should have, but this is what we actually have. So the T right here, it should be an A. So something happened where the A changed into a T. This is called a point mutation and it is non-silent because the protein is now different. And the result, um, while there is a difference in the protein, only one amino acid is changed versus, as we saw with some of the frame shifts, you know, a significant amount of the protein being changed. So this is what we covered in class regarding mutations. This is what you missed. Uh, make sure that you know how to change DNA into RNA and use the codon wheel to create the amino acids from the RNA. I do have copies of this handout. When you return to class, please ask for one. I can provide it to you. And then you also have this video to kind of walk you through the explanation.